I'm gonna review all the differences between plaque and tartar, how to remove plaque at home, and why tartar buildup can be so damaging to your teeth. So what is plaque? Plaque is a soft, sticky, colorless film of bacteria that gets stuck on your teeth and underneath your gums. And it develops when the bacteria in your mouth mix with the sugary and starchy foods that you eat. This bacteria in combination with acids and carbohydrates creates the sticky film we call plaque. This is very common and you may have experienced this before if you went to sleep without brushing your teeth, you wake up, you run your tongue on your teeth and you have this fuzzy feeling, that's plaque. So why do we need to remove this plaque. The bacteria produced in plaque produces acids that can attack your teeth and cause cavities. And if this tooth decay gets large enough, it can lead to an infection of the nerve, which can cause a lot of pain, or even worse, it can undermine your healthy tooth structure, which can cause your tooth to break and eventually need an extraction. Dental plaque also causes inflammation and irritation of the gums, which is also known as gingivitis. This can be detrimental to the bone surrounding your teeth, which can lead to gum recession, tooth sensitivity, and bone loss. So the other question I get is is what's the difference between tartar and plaque. If plaque is left on the teeth for too long, it can mineralize into hard tartar, also known as calculus. Tartar is a yellow or brown in color, and if you have it, it's pretty easily recognizable on your front teeth. And tartar develops really quickly because the minerals in your saliva interact with that plaque, and then it develops those mineralized deposits usually found on your back teeth and throughout the mouth. It's rough, you can feel it, you can see it, and the worst part about it is that your toothbrush and flossing is not going to be effective at removing these hard deposits from your teeth. This is why we typically recommend to see your dentist or hygienist for those cleaning appointments, typically at a minimum every six months, so that they can use the ultrasonic scalers or metal hand scalers to scrape off all that buildup from your teeth. Now, if the buildup gets bad, I'm talking about buildup under the gums, this can lead to periodontal disease, which is a problem because it can lead to bone loss, your teeth can get mobile where they're wiggly or moving around, and eventually you might have to lose some teeth or you might have some severe pain. So how does a visit to your dentist help? Like I said before, when you go to the dentist, they're gonna remove all that buildup from on top of your teeth as well as under the gums. And when we remove that buildup or those thorns that get stuck under your gums, we're helping the inflammatory process, we're making sure that your gums get healthier and we're stopping the progression of bone loss, which is a great thing. Now, if you haven't been to the dentist in a long time and you're wondering whether you need a deeper cleaning or a regular cleaning, they're gonna diagnose your condition by doing a variety of tests. They're gonna look at your pocket depths, they're gonna look at your x-rays, they're going to look at the uh, redness around the gums and using a variety of measurements to identify whether you need a deeper cleaning cleaning or a regular cleaning. And you should also know that there are limitations to what the general dentist can do. And if the gum disease is really bad and you wanna keep your teeth for the rest of your life, then they might refer you to a gum specialist, someone called a periodontist. And they're gonna do some extra measures to make sure that your gums are healthy. Things like a pocket reduction surgery or a gum graft or things like that. So as promised, I wanna give you guys some tips on how to keep your teeth relatively plaque free. Number one is rinsing after meals. This is a very simple, easy act that everyone can do, that after you're eating lunch or dinner, take a cup of water, put it in your mouth, swish around a little bit, and that simple act of swishing with water is gonna help remove a lot of debris from your teeth, which will keep your teeth relatively plaque free, and it will also help eliminate a lot of the staining that we get when we're drinking dark colored beverages or we're eating foods that have a lot of pigments in them. Number two, eat less sugary and starchy foods foods. This also includes drinking sugary beverages. Energy drinks are the worst offenders and I can't tell you how many patients I've seen, younger patients that drink energy drinks throughout the day when they're playing video games and they forget to brush their teeth and the acid in those drinks can really be damaging to your teeth. Also starchy foods can lead to the development of plaque so we want to keep that to a minimum. So just remember to eat a little bit healthier and avoid these type of items. Number three, brush and flossing twice a day. It's super obvious, guys, but I need to really emphasize this, that if you're not willing to change your diet, if you're not willing to drink 
a lot of water throughout the day. Then brushing and flossing is an amazing measure that will help keep your teeth clean using a soft bristle toothbrush because we don't want a hard bristle toothbrush because that can be damaging to your teeth. Taking your time to get every single area of your teeth. Angle the toothbrush at a 45 degree angle between the gum and the tooth. Make sure to get the back side of your teeth. Make sure to cover all those areas and take your time when you're brushing. Don't just rush through it. If you do this measure and you do it carefully, you're gonna be saving tens of thousands of dollars of dental work. So I can't emphasize that enough. Remember to brush and floss your teeth. And number four, another obvious one, maybe not a home remedy, but I have to say it, is getting those regularly scheduled cleanings. I've seen a lot of patients who had amazing dental care, not a lot of cavities, and then because of the whole COVID thing, all of a sudden they come back after a couple years and they have cavities, they have um, bad gum health. Allow us to help you, educate you, and keep your teeth um, as clean as we can. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My friend and I are working on a website where you can find um, really amazing, talented dentists that have great reviews that are privately owned. Um, so I encourage you guys to check out the link below in the description box. Leave a comment, share this with someone who wants to be educated on uh, dental hygiene. I appreciate the support. Thank you and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.